Good morning, YouTube preppers and ham radio operators and GMRS operators. What you're looking at are two excerpts from two documents from the FCC. The first is document number 22-307, which was released on March 23rd, 2022. The second is the FCC feder uh, document 20-184, released the same day. They read in part, Effective date of new application fee rates for the Wireless Telecommunication Bureau. On December 23rd, 2020, the Commission adopted a report and order implementing a new application fee schedule, which significantly updated the Commission's previous fee schedule. We have been waiting to hear from the, hear about this since December 23rd, 2020. Well, yesterday it came out, and the date is finally set. The date for the change in fees is April 19th, 2022. Wireless application fees can be paid through the Commission's universal licensing system at the link listed below. That's all from DA22-307. Now, moving down to FCC document 20-184, site-based licenses. We adopt site-based license application fees proposed in the NPRM site-based licenses license services include land mobile systems, one or more base station communicating with mobile devices or mobile only systems, point to point, two station using spectrum band to form a data communications path, and point to multipoint systems, one or more base stations that communicate with fixed remote units, as well as radio location, radio navigation systems. Applications to authorize these types of radio systems contain similar types of data, location, antenna, frequency path, mobile devices. And the application for some of these services often require technical analysis reviewed by the commission staff. Okay, we adopt the following categories of personal licenses that's ham radio and GMRS for you who do not realize what I'm talking about. The application fees proposed in the NPRM. The commission proposed a fee of $50 for each application. The Sonoma County Amateur Radio Operators, Amateur Re Radio Relay League, and many individuals, myself included, commented, contend that the proposed fee of $50 for amateur radio service applications is too high and will prevent amateurs from joining the amateur radio service. Instead, they contend, the commission should adopt a no fee or nominal fee. We agree with the commenters asserting that the fee is too high to account for minimal staff involvement with these applications and therefore adopt a reduced $35 fee for all personal application license fees. And what that means is if you are getting a ham radio license after the uh, April 19th date, it will cost you $35. However, if you are getting a GMRS license, after the 19th of April, it will only cost you $35 as opposed to the $70 that it did. Now, what I would suggest and strongly encourage, if you are thinking about getting your ham radio tech license, please do so now. It only costs you $15 currently. Um, after April 19th, it will uh, go up to $35. So that is your morning news from K0MRD. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. This is K0MRD, your radio prepper, and I'm out.